Hi, this is John from BookBaby, here with a video to help you proof your ebook in Kindle Previewer. Now that you have downloaded your EPUB file, you will want to proof it in Kindle Previewer. Start by opening the program. The first thing you will see is your loading window. You can drop your EPUB file into this window. You'll see your book once it is finished loading. On the left hand side, starting from the top, you will see all the options available to show you how your file will look across multiple Amazon devices. You can switch the preview from tablet to phone to Kindle e-reader. You can even switch the orientation. Next is the enhanced font and font size dropdowns. Clicking on this will allow you to see your book in different fonts available on Amazon devices. As you can see, your device comes with its own font options, so your proof will have a different font than the document you supplied for conversion. Notice how changing these options alters the amount of text appearing on each page. When you adjust the size and the text gets smaller, you can see that more content is now shown on the screen. The reverse happens when you increase the size of the font. Now content has been enlarged and there is less text on the screen. Take some time and explore these options. It will help you to understand that the experience of reading an ebook can't be controlled by the author and is in the hands of your readers. Common text formatting issues like orphans, widows, and rivers can be present depending on the current settings, but changing any of the display options we covered can alter them. Below all of the enhanced typesetting functions, you will see the table of contents used by your device for navigational purposes. This will allow you to skip to specific chapters in your book. When you have completed proofing, if you have corrections to request, always make sure you have deleted your download of the version you are rejecting. This will ensure that when you load your book for your next round of proofs that you will always be viewing the current version of your file.